Hi, it's Megan. And it's Bree. And we just want to talk about TV. Welcome to our podcast, Unseries. Each episode, we're going to cover a TV show, new or old, and have a silly little conversation about it. So grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get unserious. Don't stop believing. You are ready. <laughs> national anthem i was gonna say something oh. <laughs> what were you gonna say What's so you like show tunes that doesn't mean you're gay it just means you're, <laughs> awful. you're awful <laughs> there's so many quotes from the show i know that's why i was like oh my god we're going into this and i'm like <laughs> i need to remember every single word that was spoken <laughs> yay yay glee yay glee 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 club hooray <laughs> Sue's face. <laughs> ah. Wow. Ah. We did it. We're back. We came back. We're fully back this time. No we're breaks anymore. So back, but like actually. We're so back for real to talk TV. We love TV. It's all right. In my film era with my L. <laughs> <laughs> so can anyone guess what we're talking about after those two quotes? That literally said Glee. In the title of this pod, whatever that ends up being. <laughs> and don't stop believing. <sighs> we're talking Glee. Season one, baby. one. Because we're going to do a different episode for every season because it deserves, it deserves it. It deserves it. It maybe not like five and six, but you know what? We're doing. <laughs> we do one pod for five and six and we're like, well, <laughs> we're it's like, over. This happened. <laughs> this happened. <laughs> We'll um, see. Let us know what you guys want to see. Yeah. Comment down below. Hit that bell. <laughs> yes, hit the bell. Get remember <laughs> every Thursday. <laughs> every Thursday we're back. Um, yeah, but I haven't seen Megan in a few years now. Yeah. So I really years. need to I need to catch up and yeah. ask Megan, mm-hmm. what have you been like watching or reading or listening to or playing or <laughs> singing oh i started a band <laughs> i started a i band. wish that'd be so punk rock to say um i have not read anything the the, the boss i, I um... <laughs> i've been watching some movies that's yes. been exciting i watched saltburn i don't yes. think i need to say anything that hasn't already been said <laughs> everyone knows all the tea about saltburn and unfortunately i am falling prey to the jacob Elordi epidemic um it got me that's <laughs> it my update. Got me. i'm like oh no i think he looks a little different like better yeah i agree but don't you changed. think don't you think no, he looks different? i 100 percent agree because i was talking to ava about it because we were watching snl mm-hmm. and even ava was like i get it he's a little cutie I and i was like i know and i can't deny it but for so long like up until literally a week ago i was like i don't know what i don't the see hype it is. <laughs> yeah and it's not anything against him even though i do have a little bit of beef with him but that's a different story so um i think i just i didn't i don't know i think it was i was stuck in kissing booth ava was saying like a lot of people were stuck in euphoria which is a very different side yeah. and obviously separate Dark. the art from the artist or the character <laughs> from the actor but i was yeah. like i don't know like i don't know i don't, know. I don't, I don't even it. think it was salt i don't know if it was silver i think it's just his vibe now something is different <laughs> i think he looks movie. different and I watched some of Kissing Booth this morning. So I was like, I need to go back. <laughs> I I was like, this, these movies are worse than I remember. Because I was telling Ava, because Ava hasn't seen them. And I was like, they're not awful, but they're certainly not good. And then they're I was watching so it. I was like, oh, no, they're a little bad. They're pretty they're bad. Like, really bad. But like... Because <laughs> it's like, I forgot like how sexist it was. Anyway. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Those were the days. In it, and he was a silly little guy. Like, I was watching an interview with him in the cast. I was like, oh, this was silly. And then he, like, pulled so far away from it that I was like, no, oh, this guy. Yeah. But now he's just a silly little guy. He's just a silly little string and it's, bean. And, and he's tall. And it's <laughs> really working tall. on me. <laughs> he was very good on SNL, but he should have been sillier. That was my note, is that they should have given him better sketches than just being pretty. I liked um the Alaska one. Yeah, that was good. That one was funny. 
Yeah. I but, liked, yeah. like, not that any of them were bad, but they did too many of him being just, like, this pretty guy that everyone loves. And it's like, you just needed one of those. And you, you should have let him be, like, the wedding sketch at the end. He was so goofy, but it was for five seconds right at the end. Yeah. Like, he had so much more potential. <laughs> so hopefully they let him. That's my again. note. That's you my just, note. Hopefully they let him host again next week. Yeah. And then Renee, no notes. <laughs> Renee, no notes. Yeah. So it was a solid episode. I'll give him that. Yeah. I had a good time. I, I did Rachel McAdams. That was cool. I like sat up. I was like, because it took me a second. I was like, who is that? And I went, oh, that's yeah. big. Like she did it do the Walmart. <laughs> said, Let me see the question. She's like, I just you. didn't want to. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Like, I just didn't want to. I said, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I had fun. <clears throat> and then oh. I saw Poor yeah, Things. Yes. And I don't even want to talk about it because I want, I if you haven't seen it, I don't want anyone to know. Like, I want everyone to go in blind like I did because it was fantastic. Okay. I don't know anything about good. it. Good. That's how it should stay. It's just it was so fucking good. But I don't okay. even want to say anything. Okay. That's how I felt. Saltburn people were like, I'm not going to say anything but the bathtub scene. And I'm like, well, now I know that there's a bathtub scene. So I don't even want to say. Yeah. Not that they're comparable, but just it was, I had a much better experience watching that movie because I didn't see things coming. Yeah. Did you even know the like the plot? I barely did. I read I, like a little. That's what I did like a while ago. But I was so like confused. it was all coming back to me. I was like, oh, but even then I was still like, what is what does that mean? happen? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I yeah. recommend it and I'm going to try to watch more Oscar movies and then more shows. I'm going to start the Buccaneers this week. Jumping ahead. <gasps> and we can cover that. I have to watch the last two. <laughs> Get on it. My Apple um, is gone soon. I got to cancel. I'm going to cancel it on the 24th. And my, you know, my mom have like three more episodes of shrinking. Oh yeah. You got and I have Buccaneers. I got to, I got to watch it. Two days. I got, <laughs> I got YouTube TV, which is like $80 a month um, for a, for a 10 day trial. So I have to cancel that on the 24th. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> I, had to- I was literally like, Huh? I couldn't watch the Emmys without getting something like that. Oh. Because I couldn't find NBC. Like, we don't have any channel except for ABC right now. So I don't know what that's about oh. on the antenna. Well, that's good for Abbott Elementary. That's what I said. So that's really all that matters. <laughs> and then I think the Oscars are on ABC too. So, that, but I want to figure that shit out. Anyway, yeah. Brie, what about you? Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect you to ask me this question. <laughs> I never do. <laughs> um, wait, but I was gonna ask: Are you guys? Are you guys not seeing me? Or are you have no plans to see Mean Girls? You have plans to see Mean Girls, or you want to go see Mean Girls? I do want to go see Mean Girls. Ava has seen it. Julia, and okay. I have not. I want to see it. Okay, perfect. I'm in. All right. <laughs> I just arm. didn't want to go by myself, but I don't think my mom would like it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we haven't gotten around to it, yet. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely probably won't before you get back. So. Let's go. Girls. And we'll give okay. A we'll give a full review. Mm-hmm. Um, but anywho, I haven't watched well, I've watched Shrinking. That's the only TV show I'm watching right now with my mom. mom. Still enjoying that. Oh, Love yeah. it. Live in a <laughs> bit, but you'll get more on that later. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I read If We Were Villains. Mm-hmm. Which is one of a, a new five star for me. I really Ooh. loved it. Um, it's dark academia like I really liked the secret history but I liked this one even more and it's like Shakespeare conservatory kids and it was just a good time good all right writing, good time and like was it too like the secret history is like kind of a lot like just the writing is like okay like okay um yeah. but if we were villains it's just easy to understand and like a good good time so that's my recommendation. And okay. then I watched, or I read Love in Other Words, which was also good. Um, and I recommend that. I think you would really like that one. Is it the Christina Lauren one you were reading? Yes. Okay. Um, I, That has been on my, like, I've wanted to read it for a while. And I mean, I just had a, the, I don't want to say anything, but like, I <laughs> still really, <laughs> I really, I like, I'd recommend it to people. Like, it, it was good. And I okay. think you should. Yeah. all right oh, that's my list. <laughs> i gotta get back in my reading era reading era <laughs> um i haven't watched any movies all i do is sit <laughs> real <laughs> all i do is sit and ponder yeah that's and... how i feel half the time too 
I sit and I don't bonder. I just stare. <laughs> or like, I'll be nothing. like, I'll sit down and go, I'm going to do something on my phone. Not that it's that productive, <laughs> but I'll have an idea of what I want to do. And then I'll end up on TikTok, like forcefully <laughs> scrolling for no reason. I'm like, get off. Like my head is like, get off. Yeah. I'm just, like, physically scrolling. I do that too. That's like, toxic. Yeah. It takes over me. Something. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. And when you get back, GTA. Oh yeah. Julia That'll played my for a gaming second. era. Julie played for a second. It was so funny. Heck yeah. So, I have to play. I have not accomplished anything in the gameplay. I just drive around. I don't think it matters. I just want to drive around. Perfect. Perfect. Because that's hit. where I'm at. <laughs> I want to like cause some crime. Like I want to. <laughs> yeah. I want to be like a level whatever. <laughs> I want to be the worst criminal and get away with. Okay. And run around. I right, got perfect. this. <laughs> All right. Subscribe to our gaming channel. because Everyone's going to want to see that. <laughs> to our gaming channel. That's not made. Mm-hmm. but one day one day we're gonna on serious yeah. gaming that's us all right perfect all right wait Should one we... more thing okay. our emmys predictions oh, went yes. okay <laughs> yeah honestly i was kind of proud solid especially like i think from... we didn't do good at limited series but that's for having not seen them. yeah we haven't seen them so like what can you do what can you do and we did it all before every other award show happens so we had no prep yeah and we got we got the big the big the big boys the big boys <laughs> we were right mm-hmm. because you know what we're experts on tv so hit that bell and subscribe and <laughs> yeah. comment down below <laughs> your number one source for all tv is right here <laughs> it's right here all the dedicated thoughtful opinions you've ever wanted I have never known that much of the Emmys. <laughs> it was so exciting, but it was so funny because I was with Ava, Jade, and Julia. Yeah. And Julia was fully there for the bear. But what? everyone was like, oh my God, succession again? I was like, these old, what? You don't get it. <laughs> oh my God, succession. <laughs> I was like, I hear you, but also deserve <laughs> that you deserve. weren't there. That was me when I had other shows that I like, like just because I haven't seen like in recent years i'd have like one show i knew i'd be like why didn't that win right (laughs) (laughs) it's like bear and also like i fucking love the bear but it was crazy that they got all this for season one but people think it's because everyone had just watched season two and then voted yeah i'm like i would have loved to see more love for barry and stuff like that but i can't be too mad because i do love the bear but what can you do what can you do i'm a bear darling i'm the i'm a bear season one shooter okay good (laughs) I've been defending Carmi and everyone with my life here. Good. <laughs> Carmi needs that. Carmi needs his support. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck in a freezer. <laughs> I kept going girls on their birthday every time we did something when I was watching with my mom and my sister. <laughs> he's, he's so me. My, my mom was like, he deserves that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, keep Carmi in the freezer. Yeah, lock him or up. fridge or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um okay should i tell everyone what glee is about yeah tell everyone about glee season one brie i don't know how good this summary is but if you don't know what glee is kill yourself (laughs) 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 okay for legal purposes that was a quote that was a reference that was part of glee season one reference exactly i have that written down actually (laughs) yeah exactly that's one of the best quotes ever i agree okay <clears throat> Glee is a musical comedy drama television series that aired on Fox in 2009. The chaos that is Glee season one follows Will Schuster, the Spanish teacher at William McKinley High School in Lima, Ohio's journey. Wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. Of taking over the Glee club after the previous teacher is fired. Will managed manages to recruit some students as well as blackmailing the popular quarterback Finn Hudson to join. (laughs) Mr. (laughs) Schuster hopes to one day take the kids to nationals, though they face many obstacles like the cheerleading coach Sue Sylvester, who tries to sabotage the group at every turn. Will these group of losers ever (laughs) to nationals or better yet, realize that being in Glee Club is being a part of something special, and that is what makes you special? Oh my God, Brie, that was really beautiful. <laughs> that was so good. Wow, thank Glee. you. Glee, yay Glee. Yay, go Glee. Why do you blackmail? <laughs> That's that was the first thing I wrote down was, Will planting drugs in Finn's locker? 
<laughs> no, literally everything I wrote down was a question mark. I said, wait, <laughs> what? What? That's what? the thing that happens that? right off the bat. Yeah, immediately. He's like, you know what I need to do? It's like, everyone jokes about Will Schuster and it's like, I feel like when you are younger and watching it for the first time, you're not thinking about it deeply, yeah. but it starts out so soon. It's not like he does crazy shit later. He's always been doing crazy he's always, shit. He's always been crazy. Always public enemy number one. <laughs> he is for real. What was that bumper sticker we saw that one time? <gasps> oh, what was it? It was so good. I don't want to butcher it. We need it. to find a picture because I think you took a picture with it. Yeah. It Maybe we'll like, post that on the yeah. Instagram. <laughs> That was a good one. I need it that. It was something it was like, it was slandering him. Yeah, it was Will Schuster slander. Which, <laughs> yeah. Which is what we use. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my gosh. This show is oh, my yeah. Roman Empire. <laughs> yeah, tell everyone what Glee means to you. I don't even know how to de- <laughs> I don't even know how to describe. <laughs> you know <laughs> Start crying. <laughs> you know how Aaron Burr wanted to be in the room where it happened? I've heard that, yes. I want to be in the McKinley High <laughs> fire room with all of them. I just want to be in that world. It's, I like took myself, I think high school, I like literally was just there, like my mind. <laughs> this is how I got through school. They walked me to school. Mm-hmm. I was glee crazy, like hyper fixated to the max on glee. I think I did watch it like in 2009, but I wasn't very like I wasn't obsessed until like season two like I didn't I feel like I didn't get fully like this is the best until like midway through season two or something yeah but then I watched it more when I got older and understood more and then I was like really like middle school and high school especially like freshman year I was like I don't know how I didn't get bullied (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> this bitch so we, we went we had our theater class and everyone was on the same fucking yeah place. when someone when you can start talking about glee or when mr Cardell started playing um glee music i was like wait oh my god so you guys like you had we had the little friend yeah, yeah, we had, but i wasn't in it yet you were a loser smooth criminal comes on and i was obviously a glee fan but i was specifically in my grant gustin era oh, yeah which we i guess we'll save for season three um but smooth criminal was playing and you guys were like oh my god this is the best song and i was like <laughs> this is the best song too. <laughs> you said i'm here <laughs> but i had to keep it in uh, oh my god it t- makes it uh, sound so cool oh my god this is the best song <laughs> like we're the coolest kids in school i was like i want to be where the people are <laughs> talking about glee <laughs> talking about glee you're like i want to be a glee uh, not to not to change the subject but what eventually got us i think was one tree hill or the vampire diaries yes those both were of those we had us <laughs> this is for a different podcast yeah but All the i shows. also enjoyed glee i didn't get into glee until probably like eighth grade season four Seven. eighth grade yeah <laughs> squinting i guess glee was halfway through when we were in high oh, school wait. almost done when we were it, in high school yeah it was but I, I started it as season three ended ish yeah um a crazy I, place to start i just watched the season three finale yeah no okay so it's one of those things where like <laughs> everyone's talking about it so you're aware of what's happening and yeah. i remember gasping when like finn proposed to rachel and um, I didn't even watch the show. I just knew it was that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like from afar. My in laws. Like, invested. Yeah. So I was like, well, now, and then they're about to graduate. So I want to watch that live. And I remember like sobbing, like sobbing when Kurt didn't, Kurt and Finn didn't get into the school mm-hmm. and sobbing when she got on that train. And I was like, I need the train. <laughs> also, this is not going to be spoiler safe. Like we're talking about season one, but yeah. if things come up, don't cancel us. But yeah. yeah, that's how I started. But then, like, that Christmas, so I then I watched season four from, like, the beginning. But that Christmas, I got, like, season one on DVD because I didn't have, like, Netflix yes. or anything yet. Yeah, I watched that was- him on DVD <laughs> and, like, binge. So I, like, caught myself back up. Then I got season two and I got season three. And then I was, like, fully in it. Yes. Glee. Glee! The whole time. Wow. Sometimes it feels like a fever dream. Yeah. It feels like... And... Season one was like the most unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> like them doing all the stuff and like not having like an established 
like the fact that Josh Groban was in it in reference so much and like the show just came out of nowhere and I guess Ryan Murphy did some other stuff but he wasn't Ryan Murphy yet yeah and they, they had like all the guest stars like yeah Kristen Chenoweth and Idina Menzel in the same season like, insane that's insane like how did they do that <laughs> and they had to get rights to all this music so like right that's like crazy yeah some people said no high. but a lot of people said yes right said, it still costs money yeah and I'm like, how did this work? And how is everything getting like I know like shows were a little crazy crazier back then in 2009, but they weren't that I feel like some of the things said on it, I can't believe that it played on network yeah. TV. Just like yeah. <laughs> Even for the time. Yeah. Because <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. It's not <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't like the eighties or nineties. Yeah. So I don't really know what was happening there, but they really just said whatever they wanted. Yeah. I mean, I guess like some of it's definitely like satire. Like, yeah, they are. Yeah. Sue's whole character. Like, you can't be like, oh, my God, that's so offensive because she's supposed to be offensive. Yeah. Um, Sliding my mic into frame. Um, <laughs> just slide. But some of the other stuff, well, just like Will existing. Yeah. Just like, Will I don't exist. know how they got away with that shit. <laughs> that shit i i think they really got and then it them being just a random school in lima ohio yeah like the in high school and they did look old i know older people play <laughs> high schoolers but they look old <laughs> i feel like they were one of like for like aging like or for the age of the character supposed to be like one of the most noticeable one of like the quote unquote worst like not that they were yeah. a bad cast at all but you know what i mean like, like, people would make fun of, like, Gossip Girl and all the other teen shows, but Glee was so, like... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, like, old. There's no way these people are nice. Like, old. some of them, I feel like, started at 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's or crazy. maybe close. And ended at 62. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the time had so clearly aged them. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, the, so much happens in season one. Mm-hmm. The... Hold on. But like I, everything, yeah. Wait, what? I was just gonna say since we're talking about Will, and then we mm-hmm. have we haven't rewatched season one recently, but like semi recently, yeah. And I have to really give it to him though. Him and Emma really do pull me a bit, especially in the early seasons. Like, yeah, they they pulled me. Yeah, and he was married. Like what a trope that she's in love with him, but he's married, and his wife is psychotic. Terry is so funny. So funny. I should have wrote more down about the, her, but I did write about her fake pregnancy, which yes. is great. What a storyline. And I love the use of like the sister, like them just being like crazy. Both crazy. They're like like you have they're just to talking to each other. And then Quinn being pregnant and then her lying to Finn. <laughs> Finn believing that. <laughs> oh, sweet Finn. And, oh, sweet boy. Oh, um, innocent. <laughs> so insane so, and then like, uh, that makes sense both of those storylines and then them having like consecutively and then like them plotting together that she's gonna give her the baby so oh my yeah, god like, buying the baby from Quinn because <laughs> the timing was just too perfect that's crazy. can you blame her she's a hustler yeah Terrible. but oh my god like the scenes where they find out like will finding the, like ripping the fake pregnancy belly off I hate that scene. Oh my god! But like, I ate that shit up as like a oh my god, it's happening. So that was one of the yeah, things yeah, we were yeah. Waiting it was for drama. Was find out, and then Finn finds out, and then like goes off on her or, or Puck, like beats the shit out of Puck. Those scenes and then Rachel's just standing make there, like, me so uncomfortable. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh. but and drama. What about it? What about it? <laughs> And it was during sectionals, right? It was sectionals? Yeah, it was right before sectionals. And Finn was supposed to do, don't, like, was supposed to do one of, like, lead. Yeah. And he was like, I'm done with you all. He kicked the chair and he said, I'm done. I'm I'm done with all of you. I said, right now? (laughs) Actor. Actor. Um, Uh, But Terry, Terry faking her pregnancy and she also how did she become the school nurse <laughs> with only she the sheets and things the job whatever. history <laughs> sheets and things and then she gets all the kids high <laughs> and they do mashups 
That's one of my favorite. Okay, I'm feeling great today. <laughs> what a God, what a beautiful day. <laughs> I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm oh my God. <laughs> Season one is so fucking good. It's, it's so good. Like if you go through like, every episode. I really like, like gas really. up two and three. Yeah. Um, but like one is also pretty freaking good. I know. I used to like put one in the dust. Mm-hmm. But honestly, it's pretty. <laughs> and yeah. like. They did have some insane jokes, but the satire and the jokes they did write still hold up and are still so, so funny. funny. Wait, I was writing some things. I have like a whole page of Sue Sylvester quotes, which yes. we, can do, we can do on its own. But um, obviously, who's Josh Groban? Kill yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who's Josh but Groban? Also, um, I think it's season one where it's Kurt and mercedes and he's like she's black i'm gay we make culture yes iconic they cracked well yes well yes that <laughs> makes sense. and like that whole conversation of um well like sue trying to nickname kurt but then the you guys are too obsessed with labels so what you like show tunes it doesn't make you mean you're gay that just that- means you're awful that's been my favorite one lately. <laughs> so good. And like her whole, like Jane Lynch, which we always love to praise Jane, Jane Lynch. Lynch. Um, <laughs> but it's always so funny her making the problematic jokes as like a gay woman herself in yes. real life. And like I was watching a clip and it was like her and Neil Patrick Harris's face. They're like, like talking about hooking up. And I'm just like, it's so funny. Like, <laughs> the, like just playing two straight, straight people. So funny. <laughs> the show is um... so insane. <laughs> Sue, like her in Sue's corner, everything from Sue's corner is insane. And that's how Sue. Sue's Wait, I have to read. I wrote one of those down. I just want one day a year where I'm not visually assaulted <laughs> by so uglies and patties. I said, "What?" The whoa, <laughs> and that's how Sue sees it. Sees it. <laughs> That's just on the local news, and then the one guy who looks like the most news reporter ever mm-hmm. is like, oh, when he stands her up, oh, a crime. She, she got already deserved that. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, only the men wear those, and she was like, well, now I'm in. Oh, uh, that's another thing I got mad at Will Schuster for is seducing Sue. Yeah, to get and then to trick her and then tricking her. Fuck. She didn't deserve that. I don't care what she does to the club. She can do whatever no. she wants. She's no. so innocent. She's never done anything <laughs> wrong in her life. She's innocent. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Um, Although I said I love Will and Emma, and I think one of the most iconic scenes is when he runs to her in the mid-season finale. But I That's also like... Wrong. Yes. <laughs> but I also like when she calls him a slut. Yeah, I wrote that <laughs> in all caps. Says, you're a slut, Will. Will. You're a slut. You're a slut. You're a slut. You're a slut. <laughs> and then Sue like goes past. Someone goes slut and then goes <laughs> man whore. <laughs> He's so said, funny. Yes, take him down. Get him. Uh, <laughs> love you like a sister. <laughs> oh, and uh, what's the quote? I'll, I'm going to buy you a kitty cat. Yes, I have that up. <laughs> um, Hold on. And if it is one minute late, I will go to an animal shelter and get you a kitty cat. I will let you fall in love with that kitty cat. And then on a dark, cold night, I will steal away into your home and punch you in the face. In the face? Like, what? <laughs> Changed lives. Changed lives. That's one of the best quotes of all fucking time. Roasted him. I will steal away into your house <laughs> and, punch and punch you in the face. face. You're nothing to the cat. Just punch you in the face. The cat is so funny. <laughs> That's television. This is television. I don't care. I didn't even say yeah, Sue it. Sylvester is one of the best. And Jane Lynch. They're the best. The best. Yes. That's the Emmys with Jimmy Fallon, the intro. I saw mm-hmm. that feed. That popped back up on my feed the other day. That was yeah, iconic. Same. So uh, good. <laughs> I want Jane Lynch to do everything forever. Yeah, I just want her to do it. We, we keep joking about this. I think we should do Jane Lynch month. Yes. Like June, probably. We can do it. June Lynch. <laughs> June Lynch. And we do at least one season of this. Uh, well, we've already done Only Murders. Only Murders needs to come back out. Yeah. Um, Because it's about to be like her season, even though. Tragic. Yeah. And another Cinderella story, but we do all the Cinderella stories, but we focus all on right. her. But we focus on just Jane. <laughs> even when it's Jennifer Coolidge, we're like, Jane Lynch. <laughs> like, but Jane Lynch. <laughs> no. Let me redirect you back to Jane Lynch. Oh, let me... uh, exactly. That is iconic to have Jennifer Coolidge, too. Anyway. <laughs> 
anyway yeah. now I just want to talk about Jane Lynch no yeah let me go to my quotes that I haven't said you think that's hard try living with hepatitis that's hard <laughs> or what any version of that that she says um oh oh she's what if I would just innocently murder you will <laughs> she says <laughs> what if I just I have destination oh. horror. Oh. <laughs> um, that is a lawsuit, Mister. I will sue, sue your, your ass. ass. She's just iconic. Those all live in my head. I can hear them perfectly. Mm-hmm. And if we don't get funding, I won't be able to buy my hovercraft. <laughs> <laughs> we almost—I think I, I told you this, but we almost got Brie a birthday card that said that. Yes, I saw it on Etsy or something. Red Bubble. I won't be Red able course. to buy my hovercraft. Hovercraft so true mm-hmm. and then um just anytime the dramatic music starts playing the dun, 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 she starts fighting or pushing someone down the stairs yeah i love when they're in figgin's office and <laughs> she's fighting <laughs> fighting she's always making fun of his fucking hair <laughs> she has so many jokes about his hair oh fucking funny i was like Deserve. these are too many to write down <laughs> drag him they're as much as I hate Will, like, their dynamic, I guess I don't so fully hate good. him, but I hate him a lot of the time. It's the, he, one of the best parts of the show. Like, the yeah. show wouldn't be the show without the two of them going head to head all the time. And the fact that they almost didn't have, like, they were trying to do it with, like, they needed her. Yeah, they needed a villain. And they really did, because it was <sighs> one of the best parts. She's and then when so she's nice, good. and then when she is nice to them, it's like, oh Mm-hmm. It's so good. Oh my god, there's so many things I want to say that aren't in season one. I know. I, have to remember I know. I'm save just... it. When do you find out about her sister? Is that not till season two? I think it's season two. Okay, like, so I won't harp on that. But it's yeah. really cool that they give her a backstory. Yeah. And like to her. Yeah. Make her more like human. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy shit. Which I ended... um, I'm I'm trying to think of more insane like just storylines like. April Rhodes, Kristen Jenner with like the fact that she was even allowed to be in the quiet in the glee club yeah. at her age. At her big age. <laughs> <laughs> I remember them trying to explain why that was allowed, and I was like, I don't think that's allowed. <laughs> but she slayed it. Yeah. And we're not even mad. Even though about she it. was uh, yeah, she's, she's the best when she's ice or roller skating. She's so good at as that character mm-hmm. i know she like told ryan murphy that she was only going to be on it if she played like a bad character like right chaotic character <laughs> and she ate it up and she ate it up <sighs> Ow. but it's idina a- menzel not having a scene with her crime criminal criminal <laughs> why did they do that why did they <laughs> there's a missed opportunity yeah Ah, uh, yes. Idina Menzel. Her storyline was also crazy. Yes. <laughs> That's one of the things I... Being <laughs> rivalry coach Slay. Rachel's mom. Mom. Mother. And then dates Will and then adopts Quinn's baby. There's just so much. She does so much. Uh, and as they, she should. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the fact that she uses Jesse St. James to spy on so yeah i wrote jonathan groff down in all caps yes iconic that whole thing that's when i was like oh when that whole storyline came in i was like so good it's just so good the (laughs) hell oh episode ah that episode oh my god i I just remembered Mr. Shu is I don't think she says that until season two but when Brittany's like Mr. Shu is here son when yeah 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 season season two or right yeah when he like comes back to coach yeah with yeah, him. yeah yeah damn but so, so good fucking funny i love jesse <laughs> uh wait i have to tell you something when uh, i don't remember when ava was over at one point and you know the things will play on the roku like it'll show like ads mm-hmm. she went is that jonathan groff but it was a poster for ace ventura <laughs> <laughs> jim carry on it <laughs> Because like some things change, but some things do not. <laughs> some things do not. Is that Jonathan Groff? Groff? Look over his Jim fucking Carey. It looks nothing like Jonathan Groff. So God funny. Was. But what a talent. What a man. Yes. Um, oh. You go. Um, I don't know. Ah, yeah. 
<laughs> but I guess that leads into the love triangle, love, love, Finchel. Um, Ben and Rachel are so people hate on them, but I love them. Change I think they're life. so good. I think for a high school romance, the slow burn, the fact that they have the glee club, like they have music involved, and then Jesse St. James comes in and is like, Hello. <laughs> Is it me? Oh, okay, and I'm like, and oh. Rachel had just made her and Finn matching cat calendars, and he's like, I don't really know about As this, Rachel. Do. But I then do. another man enters the arena, and he has to sing Jesse's girl because his name is Jesse. Like that's art. That's I don't art. care. I've never seen anything done better. No, it's <laughs> insane. It's like in the conversation of what Glee songs are better than the original. Yeah, that Ben's was... Jesse's girl. Oh, it's so good. So good. <laughs> and <sighs> and then, oh no, what? I want to ask what your favorite episode of the oh. season is, but mine is fucking bad reputation. Oh yes, so good, so good. <laughs> run, Joey, run, change, run, fuck Joey, run. lives. That's one of the best things I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> That's like the art. actual video. Huck, Finn, and Jesse all realizing they're all in it. The old <laughs> choir teacher coming in with a gun. <laughs> So like sneaking good. up and behind the me. The fact that it becomes like a reoccurring bit, they're like, run, Joey, run. And they're like, no, not again. <laughs> run, Joey, run always. Oh, so she good. did the job. She made it better. She did. In and that- so she got help from who, who cares? Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> that was She's art. Right they clearly it. couldn't see it. And then they had to go with a total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> and then Jesse is like, if you see me, at the bar <laughs> like for ballet at the ballet bar don't talk to me or something i said this is drama uh, and then when he when he betrays her and eggs her oh and all yeah shit. oh that was pretty bad that was rough they they had to make him they had to make him back off yeah for betrayal the all. <laughs> betrayal mm-hmm. but i loved it <laughs> No, he's an icon. The <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody of it all. To Quinn's giving birth. like That's television. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, everything we're naming, I'm like, what? It's just television. It's insane. That's one of my favorite Hit moments after. in history. That's, that's. And his version of Bohemian Rhapsody is so good. So good. And then her saying. Oh, Let me go. No, 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 no. To the. Like, what? <laughs> I need to know who thought of that. I need to be in the writer's room. Where I need it to be in the room where. It yeah. I want to watch them film everything. I know. I need like an inside Glee documentary that's actually about the making of Glee and not the shady shit. Like just yeah. genuinely, like how did they they come up with this and all that stuff? Or at least the bloopers. Like, give me anything <gasps> or delete. Yeah, it I scenes. forgot like, that they don't have that shit. Give me like literally anything. Dumb, please, <laughs> please. It's been. I know years. someone has it. Yeah. <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> um what else um 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 well on the topic of finchel just i agree they're one of my favorite couples i was all up on fanfiction.net and archive of our own that's the only fanfiction I- <laughs> <laughs> good as you should <laughs> i think i definitely told you this but there was a fanfiction where it was basically full house but it was finn yeah <laughs> i don't remember who the other guys were i get them all mixed up if it was like sam and puck maybe and i think kurt was obviously involved too but like i live for shit like that it's when so i was good. in my glee era <laughs> when I was like, in my glee. all the happiness for them um but one of my favorite scenes is in the finale when they're about to sing um (laughs) what were they they're about to sing another journey song right yeah it's called journey to regionals um they always do journey she's like break a leg and he goes i love you (laughs) break a leg i love you (laughs) Ah! okay (laughs) that's peak romance (laughs) they were such a good couple because like i loved the opposites attractive at all of like he was the popular jock and she was just like this theater girl the the scene where he's like he doesn't know how to tie his shoe and he's just trying to tie his shoe and then she's just like like hopelessly like she's like (laughs) looking at him like because she wants (laughs) i don't know rachel barry's like the lulu um 
representation. She is inspiring and she made it happen <laughs> for all of us. Uh, I Yes. <laughs> silence yes the silence wait Kurt. Kurt, um and rachel doing defying gravity and then bert being like like bert bert, bert. i was gonna say like, i wanted bert. to bring up like the whole like kurt and finn of it all yes and that like, whole him like getting their parents together so they can be brothers but like he also had a crush on him and all that stuff yeah and it does end up being one of the most pure parts of the show like once it all levels out that was also such a stressful part when like finn was still very like ignorant yeah and things like that and obviously he grows and we love and he him. didn't want like change but then he was yeah he's just like ignorant and then yeah like, stupid stuff and bert's like don't if have, Bert like, stands on ah, him, love him Bert. too. The, and Bert's like what you like if you were judging people on appearance, it would not look like <laughs> anything. And ah, that's like one Bert almost like one of the best parts of the show. I agree. The like show. his arc of like even when he doesn't fully understand, he loves his son and wants to protect his son. Mm -hmm. And that's so sweet. And him always standing up for help. <laughs> I'll start crying. <laughs> and then yeah, him and um carol are so sweet <laughs> and obviously we'll talk more about that in season two but when they become a family then hitting the mailman with carol it's <laughs> <laughs> like different note <laughs> so funny uh this He's show so is me. so funny <laughs> so, and they're like it's me and gta <laughs> think of the mailman quinn's like think of the mailman <laughs> Me and GTA. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Wait, another buddy, Mercedes, singing Bust the Windows as yes! you are. When, when Kurt's like, I like Rachel. <laughs> and she's instantly like, and she's like, I bust the And she like goes off. It's like so good. <laughs> so good. It's so funny thinking about them so early on. Like, <laughs> even, um, Oh my god, I can't think of their character names. Artie and Tina! Yes. Like, their relationship. <laughs> just existing. <laughs> just being. Mm -hmm. uh, Tina being a vampire. Yeah! <laughs> then you, they, like, bring up Team Edward and Jacob in season one or something. So funny. <laughs> Fucking Matt? Was that his name? The one yeah, that Matt just doesn't talk. Oh, Matt. And then Mike Chang doesn't say anything yet, yeah. really. Yeah. That's what, like the one thing I don't like. I think I like other seasons more because we get more of Mike and mm -hmm. Santana and Brittany and yeah, like all of them because they were at first just like guest stars mm -hmm. pretty much. Like they didn't have like they got a little more towards the end of season one, but right. And then you get Blaine and Sam, like yeah. So th I think that's but season one, like it's just it's so essential. good. It's so yeah, good. you have to do. It. Yeah, and it's so good. <laughs> Even I was just thinking. Since you brought up Santana, the drama of like Finn and Santana hooking up, yeah, and Jesse and Rachel and them lying to each other, <laughs> and then that comes back to bite Finn. Wait, yeah. and that all happens in the power of Madonna, Madonna. <laughs> which Will is Will Schuster. I hate you. <laughs> that is so good, so good. And Mercedes and uh, Kurt being like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, they like to like <laughs> Will Schuster. I, I hate, hate you. you. <laughs> uh, art this whole Hold show on, i have to go watch it no for real i'm trying so i'm trying good. not to like forget other things okay. yeah i feel like it's hard because i keep thinking of like santana and britney but they don't have too too much yeah. yet it's just little things but there are like little things that really point to everything like um when okay this this thing was crazy but sue splitting up the club like taking everyone who's white <laughs> something like that or not, yeah. or not disabled because Art, what's funny about that is Artie goes by white people and he's, <laughs> white, he's the white <laughs> Artie's character then, as a whole like especially <laughs> later on damn so funny. <laughs> but um when she goes gay kids Santana stands up too <laughs> OT 
Yeah, but, they like, dropped hints. They're just for like a little while. things. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but that scene was fun. Like that scene's unhinged, or that whole thing. But that's what Sue Sylvester does. But yeah. then Artie being the one go- go- to go by way. <laughs> <laughs> Artie always has like the best like little tiny moments. Yeah, he's so <laughs> Kevin McHale's so fucking funny. Yeah, uh, even though I hate Artie. Right. No, I'm just kidding. Artie <laughs> truly. I like don't even hate any of the characters, but like, but not in not I don't know. Just like if I had to pick, but like I still love Art. Artie's so funny. Yeah, he's so. Funny. <laughs> um. I also like shout out to. Well, Quinn's whole storyline, and then, like, her getting kicked out. And her and Mercedes. Mercedes. They dropped that later. They dropped it so fast. I said, Miss Opportunity, because that was so cute. Mm -hmm. I always say this. When there's an ensemble, you gotta have all of them, like, have their own special relationships. Like, you don't have to stick with everyone hanging out with the same people all the time. And they did that with Mercedes and Quinn. Like, it was such a sweet friendship that they just like let go of yeah. that could have been so special like the Quinn's whole series like, this mean girl and stuff but then she's like very sweet in that like you see and i'm like this could have been so good so fucking good <laughs> but i do oh quinn and that's i mean quinn all the time i love quinn but mm-hmm. like her arc and then i do love her and puck and they have their sweet moments especially when i they have love the baby <laughs> puck then putting weed in the cupcakes to sell more classic <laughs> classic <laughs> uh this show <laughs> starts this crying show. What oh, when season they put weed in the cupcakes what season is it when they write him out for a second and they're like oh because he ran into oh. an atm or whatever yeah is that season two three yeah one? Like i don't know mohawk yeah <gasps> jail. yeah and everyone's like Ugh. And then he's like a loser because he doesn't have a mohawk. <laughs> Not to get ahead, but that's just glee, baby. That's just glee. That's just classic glee. Classic glee. <laughs> um what else should I have written? The whole wheels episode. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> When did they sing? I know I'm all over the place. When did they yeah. sing? I'm still standing. Was that in wheels? It's definitely a wheelchair esque moment, though. Because oh it's wait, that's where you're like three. Okay, yeah. Was it when Quinn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like gets hit by a car or a truck, and then I'm still standing. Wild shit. <laughs> This show. What a fucking show. Uh, season one is where they do where um is it season one when Kurt's the kicker on the team? Yeah, and he's like, I'm Kurt Hummel and I'll be auditioning for yes! the love kicker. Yes! <laughs> that was sweet too, because mm-hmm. then Bert is at the game. Shit. We will go from saying the most unhinged thing the show did to the most pure thing you can I think know. of. I <laughs> know. That's, that's why they boo me. Right? Like, I love a good found family shit. You know me. Mm-hmm. And so good. And I do do it. Like, I wish they held on to some things more. Because there is, like, a big cast. I get that they can't have everyone together all the time. But, yeah, I wish they, like, did more with, like, Mercedes and Quinn. Yeah. And then I do, like, obviously, they s- slowly build up eventually to kurt and rachel's friendship yes and that's one of the things to when you go back to season one you're watching and they're not friends it's strange because you're like no they become best fucking friends (laughs) everyone hates rachel yeah (laughs) everyone really hates rachel (laughs) uh deserved no (laughs) sometimes that's my favorite (laughs) so funny Uh, so funny someone has to do it Someone has to do it. Did she play the role? Yeah. Someone has to be a fucking star. Someone has to be the star of the really cool. Yeah. Like, no, that. <laughs> Wait, exactly. Rachel having different parents in the picture. I want to bring that up too. Her gay parents. And then later it's Jeff fucking Goldblum. <laughs> like what? Jeff Goldblum. I remember up. being so excited to see Jeff Goldblum. And I went, wait a minute. They do not look the same. That was not the parents that I saw. Like, I'm pretty sure they were like different races. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> But they're like, nah, no one will remember that. No one will know. Good, huh? That's so funny. 
oh, there's so much to look forward to. I know. Wow. 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 Um, I also Glee. just like Kurt and Mercedes being Cheerios for like a hot sack. Oh, when they did um four minutes. Mm-hmm. One That's of the best hot. numbers. They knocked shit out of the park. They were coming out <laughs> swinging, and it was only season one. No air. Uh, no air <laughs> changed my life. Right. <laughs> oh my god. How much does it breathe with no air? Like <laughs> anyone who. Okay, I'm sorry. I know you mentioned it, but like anyone who does like Finn and Rachel, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the, the material? <laughs> and I get that, like both of them have like their low moments, but like. But you know what? They sing about it. I'm sorry. It's just soulmateism. Open your heart to me, baby. I love when people sing about shit. Yeah. <laughs> I love when Glee just does things where like it'll be like a singing moment, but then it will <laughs> turn into like an unrealistic singing moment yes. for like no reason. And I get like that it's for like the art of the show. Or sometimes they'll do like a big fucking production, but they can't afford their outfits or their yeah, bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in like like, I feel like in season one, they do do a lot of, like, stool sitting for, like, performances with the choir. But, like, then as it later it goes, like, when they're trying, when they're doing, like, actual performances for the club, they're, like, full productions that you would not see at a yeah. high school in Ohio. Yeah, like, not to jump ahead, but when Rachel and Gwyneth Paltrow do their dance yeah. number, I was like, what? <laughs> Where are they getting all these costumes? This budget, the budget doesn't make sense. And it's Gwyneth Paltrow. Like, she's just the substitute teacher. <laughs> I can't wait to get to season two. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, 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 I'm trying to, like, run down all the ca- characters. But, like we said, not all of them do that much. Yeah. Oh, um, did you know um, dolphins are just gay sharks? <laughs> Britney says that in season one. Britney, they already were giving Britney her moments. Uh, yeah, they then knew. she really starts to shine. <laughs> yeah. Breadsticks. Breadsticks! Bread and sheets and things. Iconic. Mm-hmm. When Finn and Puck work there. <laughs> yes. There. Oh, I'm funny. a loser, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we didn't talk about the mattress episode. Oh, uh, uh, wait. <laughs> but Mr. Schuster getting... um. Like, not being able to go to sectionals just because he slept on him. That fucking sucks. Sucks to suck, I guess. Sucks to suck. Stay home, bitch. That's drama. They said we need some drama. What could he do? Mm-hmm. Is that when I get, like, each, like, the mid-season and last episode confused? Um, Is the mid-season when Emma's supposed to marry Ken Tanaka? Yes, and it? then the, she's at the wedding alone. Yeah. Yeah. Because she mm-hmm. prioritized Will and the kids. She, she went to sectionals mm-hmm. because Will couldn't go. Mm-hmm. That's love, baby. <laughs> That's so... Even though he's a slut. He's a slut. He's a slut. <laughs> There's high and cold with Will and Emma because he'll be so sweet to her. And then he's like. And then he does some shady says, Get some stu- fucking help. Like, yeah. I said, his o- says OCD. I said, Whoa. I like, respect her. <laughs> you know who respects her? John Stamos. Again, not to jump ahead. Yeah. I was- <laughs> Just to give you a sneak peek of what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. No, he he annoys me like a lot of the time when I think about it. When I was younger, I was like, I don't yeah. think I really knew. Yeah. But then like rewatching, I'm like, why is he saying? <laughs> yes. When Rachel's why in is love he with doing him? all this? Like he's doing Rachel's in love. Why did he sing a ballad with one of his <laughs> students? Why did he sing? No, he didn't sing Push It, but he let them do Push It. <laughs> yeah, that was like one of their first assemblies they're like push it <laughs> i said what is going on i can't believe uh, shut this school down shut it down shut the whole thing down <laughs> principal figgins uh I got... <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> uh so wow, what a fucking show is that in season one what do blackmailing him yes yeah i think so that was crazy yeah. So what is going Should on? I upload this to the YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. The YouTube? Everything she put. One Sue Sylvester. She's always saying one Sue one Sylvester. One Sue Sylvester. 
she uh, embodies Sue Sylvester. Like, she's the best. <laughs> so good. Like and apparently, like she was just like she nailed like Kevin and um J- Jenna would say that she nailed like would go in and nail all her like they'd be afraid to do a scene with her because she doesn't mess up. Ah, uh, I bet. But what? <laughs> I believe it. Like she I know it in my she heart. Just gets it done. And she's she does perfect. it perfectly. <laughs> like right comedic timing and everything we need her on the podcast we need kevin and jenna on the podcast we need to manifest yeah, that we need a collab <laughs> please i need everyone to fucking tell your friends to like and fucking subscribe <laughs> so we can collab so we can we need collab. to go on their podcast yeah what season are they at now they go fast i know like the fact that grant was just on it yeah well, not just but recently are they on four or three I don't know. But it looks like they're in a studio now. Like they used to be doing it on Zoom or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now it looks like they're at a studio. So I'm like, how much longer do you guys have? It looks like a nice setup. I'm like, Mm -hmm. I might just do it again. Just repeat. Just keep going. Just start over. I'll rewatch. Yeah. I was like, I need to come in for. I don't know. There's a lot of good episodes. What's your favorite episode of the season? Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this question. <laughs> I love this, I love question. this question. I don't even know. Um, I think. I think. I think. I think. I don't know. Oh. Okay. I think the power of Madonna. Yeah. It's like a good one. My thing. Fa- I, yeah. But, like, I have a few that, like, I always, like, rewatch. Like, I've just rewatched them so many times. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's me with Bad Reputation, but that episode just slays. Yeah. Like, like though, there's, like, a row of just, like, really good episodes. Like, yeah. Hello is really good. Mm-hmm. Um, laryngitis is Jesse's girl. Yes, I have this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I it's like Bad it. Reputation and then laryngitis. Like, yeah. Back to back. And then... I liked I for earlier when I liked the I do like the vitamin D episode. I mm-hmm. think it's so funny. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, I'm just like looking at it. Wait, also Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, so good. And their dream on. I'll give. I'll go with Will Schuster that. Their little duet of dream on is so good. So I did write that down. I literally just wrote dream on. Dream on. Dream on. And a, a fucking Olivia Newton John. Oh, yeah. It. Like, how did it pull? And she's like, I'm on my way to King's Island <laughs> to save the koala. <laughs> I'm like, what koala is it? Crazy. That's casual. Uh, should we just go into highs and lows? Or highs and lows? yeah epic highs, highs and lows. lows our first one of the year true <laughs> oh, i love this question <laughs> i love this question <laughs> Bree, who is your favorite character of season one my favorite character of season one i have two okay rachel berry of course and sue sylvester yeah <laughs> i wrote sue and yes. i wrote God bless. Big three. <laughs> uh, It'll least... be interesting to see how it changes if we change. Yeah. I feel like... Yeah. I feel like later on I have, like, multiple... I don't know. We'll see. You'll find yeah. out. It's also hard because now as, like, an adult, yeah. Sue's really hard to beat now that I have, like, a new perspective. But... Yeah, and Sue can't just can't do anything wrong just because she does everything wrong the whole time. Exactly. She just <laughs> uh least favorite. I wrote Will, I guess. I wrote Mr. Shoe. Yeah. Or Terry. Yeah. But also she's kind but of also iconic. she's funny. Wait, that's another quote. Um, this is where our daughter or gay son will sleep. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like just like uh, automatically is it's gonna be either a daughter or a gay gay son son. (laughs) that's so good yeah (laughs) i can't hate her too much i need the problems you can't hate anyone too much because they're always gonna be so like goofy yeah they always say pull me back some 
Um, but I also wrote Ken Tanaka. Oh yeah, I don't like Ken Tanaka. Yeah. I could do without Ken Tanaka. Yeah, they they think that too, and then he goes away. Yeah, yeah, literally. I forgot about Ken Tanaka. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh favorite moment episodes we already kind of yeah i i yeah bad reputation for me yes. the bohemian rhapsody birth scene i said that too yeah uh we didn't say this but quinn going get a job <laughs> oh actively yeah actively lying to finn about him being the father of the yes baby. that's good she's so real for that she said get and a job singing to the ultrasound him singing to her at dinner you have a baby crazy shit i have to go they'll think i'm pooping <laughs> yeah um <laughs> i love finn and then i like um rachel and finn it's really early on when they have little airplane cups yes, they yes. Have their first that's kiss. like the second episode yeah um i was <laughs> in i was in <laughs> what about i like you? i said most of the same thing um i like i also like the the first don't stop believing performance in their red shirts like Mm-hmm. I, can't. I think the pilot is really good too it like, is it's a good first pilot mm-hmm. takes you to a journey mm-hmm. wing <laughs> <laughs> even though he flagged me <laughs> but what are you gonna do what can you do you gotta get a hot quarterback <laughs> on the team you gotta get a really tall you gotta bring some street cred to the glee club <laughs> when they sing you're the one that I want you're the one that I want and that comes back later. Ooh, Fuck. Sorry. Do you have least favorites? Mr. Shu seducing Sue, which I mentioned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. Shu. It's all Mr. Shu. Uh, I don't. I think this was good for the story, but I don't. The scene I don't like watching because I just like he scares me. Mr. Shu yelling at Terry like I don't like mm-hmm. it. Um. Uh, Finn finding out the baby isn't his. Yeah. Uh, another good, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's, I'm like, ah. yeah. Uh, Emma alone at the wedding mm. makes me sad. Um, I don't know. That's all I wrote down. There's probably I, more. I agree. <laughs> I also, I kind of already mentioned this, but like, when Finn is homophobic to Kurt. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He learns and they I feel like I just story. blocked out that scene. It's because awful because you know you love it. Finn and he's good. But also, like, not that it validates how he acted, but it was fair that he didn't he didn't like Kurt that way and he yeah. didn't want that relationship. But yeah, I think that was tough to watch. But obviously, like, he grows and they it all becomes better. And he defends him in the Gaga yeah. episode. Yes. And like stands up for him. That oh. was cute. That was found family. They all came out like yeah. wound. And was Karofsky already in season one? Because fuck those scenes. Yeah. He fuck. was there. Yeah. More to come on that. Yeah. <laughs> the um, bullies. But yeah. Would you recommend the show, Ray? One hundred percent. Yes. Every day. I think you should watch it at least every day. Yeah. At least every day. At least all the way through once a day. You should just study it. You should mm-hmm. become it. What? Yeah. Embody it. Yeah. What about you? I think so. Especially season one. It's one of yeah. those shows. I guess it's different than like the prestige shows, but I feel like it's a show everyone should try because it's a fun yeah. time. It's fun. Mm-hmm. It's like when you like watching like an older show an older show Mm -hmm. and going back i think glee's a good one if you hadn't Mm -hmm. seen it when it was on yeah like that's drama that's high school drama and it has singing yeah i know not everyone likes that but you know what i do you're wrong you're wrong (laughs) you're You're wrong you're a coward sorry you're wrong but yeah. yeah and it's just so like yes some of it's a little some of the things they say are a little crazy, but when it's, but a lot of the jokes do hit, like, it's just like, so crazy. In and if way, you accept it for what it is, 100%. It's like, really good. And some of it's come back around just because of like, the humor of like, our generation and the yeah. internet. It's like, some of it's just like, 
it's like it went so far off the deep end that it's like funny again yes literally <laughs> again for it's exactly camp. for what it it's is camp exactly <laughs> exactly it's it's so good <laughs> um on a scale of one to ten ten being the most unseriousest what would you say for season one for season one yeah thinking like a seven or an eight okay it's pretty unserious i said like yeah 6.5 or 7.5 all right so seven yeah let's say seven seven our first rank of the new year <laughs> glee we'll season one is glee a seven. season one is a seven bitch <laughs> um exactly Oh my gosh, we have seven. Oh, slay. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It's time for our last segment. Oh my gosh. What is it? Game night with (laughs) Megan and Brie. Brie, Brickly, Glee. Oh wow, music to my ears. (laughs) Exactly. And speaking of music, what are we doing, Brie? We're going to hum some songs from Glee season one. Yeah, we are. You know how it is. How should... many do we think we should do? Maybe like three each? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Perfect. Oh, perk. And we get points if we guess the other person's humming. Okay. That's how we did it. Okay. Do you want to go or do you want me to go? Um, I'll go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god like i know that i know what you're doing but like i can't fathom what it is (laughs) It's also hard because, like, hearing it through a computer instead of in person is yeah. making it a little, like, it's taking away a little bit of the tone. A little bit of the... Oh, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's also sort of hard to be like, oh, fuck, this has to be in the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. I'm I'm losing it even more. Like it's all going further away. Should I tell you? Should I give you a hint sure. by who sings it? Sure, Mercedes. <laughs> I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> my um, my computer said, "Are you playing music?" <laughs> I said, "That's yes. so down. That's so you're so down." Then you're like, hey, "No, thank you." <laughs> That's so funny. Um. Oh my god, I fucking I don't know. I... It's gonna <laughs> piss me so off. Funny. It's gonna piss me off. <laughs> I don't know. You have to to tell me. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Hate on me, hater. Oh. Now or later, because I'm gonna be me. When was that? You'll be then. I don't know what episode. Hate on me, hater. Well, no points yeah, for that's me. That's my help. Well, well, loser. No, just kidding. Um. All right, I want to do one. I just have to remember it. Okay, <laughs> me. Literally. I want to do I was more. Going through these like I don't know if I can hum these. Yeah, there's one that I'm like I know the chorus, but I want to. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Rose's turn. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that too. <laughs> well, I went through like a list, and I like had mine, and then it was like toward the end. It said Rose's turn. I said. Fuck. You have to do it. Of course. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me use a computer. Okay, you get one. I get zero. 
Okay. Like, Your ready? turn. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, I'm going to the chorus. Oh my god, I'm so fucking bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> like i recognize that this is a song but for whatever reason (laughs) okay back to the course (laughs) jesse's girl yes 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 (laughs) I had like an epiphany, but I was like, do it again. <laughs> do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, as long as I get one. <laughs> now I feel better. Okay, see. I'm back. I'm, I'm back. back. We're still back. Okay. Um, I did have that on my list. And mm-hmm. okay. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do the beginning. Okay. <laughs> it's so hard to have the beginning. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think the beginning is not good. And then the chorus. Okay. I want you to get cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what is it? Um, I feel like I should know it. It just asked me if I'm playing music too. Oh wow, we're uh, so talented. We're so talented. It said, oh, are you playing music? Um, you know... Can I have a character hint? Yeah, it's it's a duet. Oh. Um oh, I feel like if I tell you both, it'll really give it away. Okay, give me one. Um, one of them Santana. Okay. <gasps> is it that boy is mine? Yes! yes! Okay, that one's good. In the beginning yeah. so hard it's like, oh. hey, can I talk to yeah, you for okay. a minute? I'm like, what is she talking? Because it sounded like you were talking. I'm like, yeah. Talk? Does the talking at the beginning. Yeah. That boy is mine. Oh, I really that scene is so you. funny. I thought hey, I had you for a second. <laughs> They're walking down the hallway. And it's about Buck. Yeah. <laughs> that boy is mine. mine. Oh, it's <laughs> In the split screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, really have to think. For the last one. Okay. Your last one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I ran out of breath. Um, <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Okay. I'm like trying to get it back. Where'd it go? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
I um is it oh shit I don't know what I I even guess but if it's wrong I'll cry is it say it is it you oh no you can't always give me one no <sighs> see like i recognize it like it always gives me something like, i'm gonna be mad <laughs> who sings it rachel why did i just like forget everything rachel's ever done in her life <laughs> whoa <laughs> i just started singing oh my god i i don't know very <laughs> This is embarrassing. I gotta rewatch Glee. It's, this is kind of embarrassing. What is it? Take a bow. Oh! <laughs> when she's singing into the hairbrush. No. Uh, that's so annoying. That was quite a show. No. <laughs> Very entertaining. That when people so go, classic. when people go, that was quite a show. After they watched the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you've already beat me, but now I feel like I have to stump you. So it's not as bad. <laughs> stump me. Um. Um. <laughs> um i was between two for my last one and the other one i feel like was too easy too easy i know i feel like a lot of the ones i want to do are too easy <laughs> I it's just, like don't stop believing yeah i was just about to say that <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if i do that <laughs> um um okay ready mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I feel like I had it for like a moment, but then I lost it. It's really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um I guess I win. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think this is for all the for points. All <laughs> for all the points. Who's who did it? Um it's another duet. And one of oh. them is Rachel. <laughs> oh, wait, I almost did this one. Poker face. Yes. Because it's like poker face, but it's their version. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, listen, it's just because you're the glee queen. I'm the glee queen. I almost did that one too. Yeah. But I was like afraid I couldn't do the beat that they do. Mm -hmm. It's just like slower. <laughs> Poker face. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's crazy. I was like, what? <laughs> Mother daughter duet to poker face. <laughs> they get up and they sing poker face. Standing They're both like the piano. Broadway singers and they they choose poker face. So funny, but so right. <laughs> so so true. Uh well, Brie, you won. You got them all. I'm the glee queen. I'm really glad I got Jesse's girl because that's really important to me. I feel like that's one yeah. of the one like I had like a handful of songs I purchased from iTunes from the yeah. show and in general. And one of yeah. them was Jesse's Girl. Exactly. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to do that one because we were talking about it, but I still want to do it. 
know. I feel like all the ones I had on my list we talked about, except for the boys, except for the ones I did. We never yeah. talked about Rose's turn. Rose's yeah, turn. No. A good turn. Wait, <laughs> that reminds me of the SNL with the they did the Don't Rain on My Parade. Yeah, turn. I was thinking about doing that. Yes, that's so, so funny. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. But check out the learning where they ram. Life's <laughs> good. I was thinking about doing that, but I'm like, it's too easy. Like, all of my other ones, I had, like, Bohemian Rhapsody, Bust Your Windows, No Air, Four Minutes, Run, Joey, Run. Yes. I feel like Four Minutes could have been tricky, but I also didn't know if I could do that. <laughs> I had Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> oh! And Safety Dance. I almost did Safety Dance. I almost wrote that else. down. <laughs> I go, mm-mm. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> so hard. Uh, uh, oh, exactly. my God. Oh, we have to do this, like, every time. Like, I want to hum <laughs> songs from seasons two and three and four and five. Yeah, we just have to. Yeah, it's a good glee activity. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> well, but you won, so I'll have to prep for season two whenever we get to that. Yeah, you have to start practicing right now. <laughs> I know. What would I do? What's even in season two? <laughs> season three, I, I want to do, I obviously want to do Smooth Criminal, but I feel like that's too obvious. We're just going to spend 10 minutes talking about it, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to get ready. I'll just start practicing Gear up. Gear up. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. So true. Yeah. I'm going to do... Oh. Um... Fuck. (laughs) Do you think of a song? I know. I want to sing... Oh, Britney. Brit... Oh! Okay. I gotta (laughs) stop talking. Oh, you're gonna give it away. I'm gonna give everything away. All my tricks. (laughs) Um, but yeah, that's Glee. I said that's what you missed the other day. I was catching up my coworker who got back from maternity leave, and I went, and that's what that's you missed, what you on, missed Glee. on Glee. And they all chuckled. I said, they all chuckled. They don't that's know I'm doing a Glee. Podcast. Get them. They don't know I'm doing a Glee. But I guess who? <laughs> no one knows. Yeah, that's funny. But next week, what are we doing, Bree? <gasps> next week, we're gonna talk about app. Yep, Apple's show, The Buccaneers. And Megan February. still has to watch all of it. And I still have to watch the finale. But yeah, they're I'm renewed for it. season two. That's exciting. We're going to be so back. So back. <laughs> We're kicking off February. Like, it's February 1st when that one comes out next week. Yes. It's fucking that, weird. That's, that's a good one for February. Yeah. And then I think we'll try to do maybe Percy Jackson, maybe some shrinking. I don't know. I haven't made the graphic yet. So <gasps> the who, graphic. Knows? <laughs> who knows what we'll do? Follow us on Instagram and yeah. TikTok. So I'm you can see this. the graphic. You can see my graphic design skills. You better see the damn graphic. Follow the Instagram. Exactly. TikTok's kind of slaying. Yeah, TikTok's kind of where it's at. TikTok's cool. You could say TikTok is where it's at. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Well, I guess that was Glee. What do what, what do I just remember? Just because you like show dudes doesn't mean, doesn't mean you're, you're gay. gay. It, it just, just means, means you're, you're awful. awful. And that's so how Sue fucking sees it. Will Schuster, I hate you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Remember to rate, follow, and share with friends. And find us on TikTok and Instagram at Unseriousist to see more content and find out what we're watching next. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye! Bye.